High Plains Technology says it's time for school. It's Wednesday again, and look at the time. It is time for school. Of course, we're talking about High Plains Technology, and on this Wednesday, as almost every Wednesday, good morning, Katie Shirley. Good morning. Today I have with me um, one of our safety slash wind um, instructors, Danny Wood, and also our um, biz director slash assistant superintendent, Taylor Burnett, joining us. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. So Danny is a little bit newer at High Plains. How long have you been here now? Just over a year. September 1 would have been my one year at High Plains. Well, congratulations. Um, so tell us about how you ended up at High Plains, kind of your journey, um, in um, education that you went through and then how you landed at High Plains in this um, particular position. Absolutely. Um, Well, before this, I actually moved down here from North Dakota. Um, I went to college at Bismarck State College. If you can't tell by the accent, (laughs) North Dakota. (laughs) Um, I went to college at Bismarck State College for instrumentation and control. It's mostly just electrical and process control type stuff. Sounds pretty simple. (laughs) <laughs> totally, totally. <laughs> right. Um, after that, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I was looking for jobs with a keyword technician, got into Vestis, which is a wind company, just kind of by chance. Um, turned out really lucky because they sent me down here for my training. Mm-hmm. I got to go through the safety training, through the basic technical courses, basic safety courses, and advanced rescue with High Plains. And while I was here, I just thought Woodward was super cool, thought High Plains was awesome. It's kind of like these people have a really cool job. Right. So. I applied to this before I even left, and then the rest is history. Here I am. That's pretty cool, all the way from North Dakota. Yep. So whenever, um, how long were you in the wind industry before you came into uh, being on the safety training side? Well, like I said, I came here for my training um, and applied before I even left. Yeah, so I applied here before I had even left to go back to work and only ended up working for about three months before High Plains hired me. So were you climbing turbines um, at that time? Yep, I was. I was climbing, doing maintenances and servicing and all of that. Did you enjoy that part? I did. I did. I mean, I'm still young. Climbing is pretty easy on me. It was a lot of fun, really cool job. I mean, taking all sorts of pictures and all of that. But yeah. What are you trying to say? It's not for the older people like myself? Is that what you're trying (laughs) to say? Your knees might not be able to handle it. (laughs) Okay. It's the feet. (laughs) Right? Yeah. But you were at the prime of that time. So you enjoy um, now what you do? Yeah. I love it. Okay, so tell us a little bit about what what it is you do now. Well, now I get to teach. um, I teach basic safety training and basic technical training, Um, more basic technical for me. That's kind of my specialty with the electrical background. So um, this week I'm teaching basic technical training, which is a four-day course where we go over mechanical concepts of a turbine, basic hydraulic concepts, basic electrical concepts. Uh, And then we just have a test at the end where we get to do all sorts of labs and all that kind of stuff with them. It's a lot of fun. We get to do a lot of cool stuff with it. And so um, your students, you have different students every two weeks? Every week. Every week. So do you enjoy having, um, compared to a normal classroom that has the same students all year, do you enjoy that part of having different students every week? I do and I don't. Um, It's really nice to get to meet so many different people. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, There's also like when you have problem students, you only have to deal with them for a week and then you get a new class. Right. (laughs) Um, But at the same time, you don't really get to know anybody very well. Yeah. Kind of a downfall, but all right. She was looking at Brett when she said problem students. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, Brett. people like that. <laughs> so, um, what would you have to say about um, maybe High Plains and just in general, your um, being there a year now um, as an employer? Just maybe, what would you want to share? Uh, so far, High Plains is my favorite place I have ever worked. Um, just the family dynamic and all of that. We all get along really well. We do barbecues on the weekends and all of that. We have our big, like our luncheons where we get together. All staff lunch. Feels yeah. like I'm working with a bunch of friends. It's awesome. Cool. You, got, you guys definitely have a pretty good crew over there, Taylor, in the wind. Um, and that's department. what I want to brag a little bit about with Danny. Even she brought a fresh set of eyes to the place as well. She's being pretty humble right now. But, you know, you learn for a little while. Get your feet planted. Hey, I have to teach this standard. I know exactly what this standard is, and I have to adhere to this standard because it is standardized training, but I can make things my own. I mean, I I need to give her props because I'll say this. I'll put my instructors up against everybody. High Plains instructors are the best on my side. That's what really bring, and the other side, not (laughs) discounting anything, but that's what brings people from all over the world to our place. Um, it's the reputation, but it's also what she has done, what the you know the other crew has done. 
um, that have enabled it to where it is fun. I mean, no one likes to sit there. Death by PowerPoint. Right. Heck to the no. Right. Not everybody is built like that, especially people that are used to working with their hands. Right. And she she got that. She understands that. And she, you know, really, she didn't want to say she really was able to easy to recruit over because it's going to be winter in North Dakota and climbing a turbine. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I was excited to get out of there. (laughs) December, January and February. Sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? Not a bit. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it was one of those easy transitions that she was able to come over and teach with. And I mean. The cahoots that, you know, it, it, everybody thinks, oh, that's just for kids. What mm-hmm. you developed and what you did with that, the the props that you've done, yep. you know, and then if she, if you want her to do some feng shui in your uh, house, she uh-huh. can, she'll lay that out and design that as well. Classes, she, really? Always, always, nonstop. <laughs> Love it. And yeah. But, you know, and I do want to say as well, the cool thing that we have that I love about High Plains as well is girl dad, mm-hmm. right? We have two female instructors. We want to show everybody this is not just for guys, right. you know, just like oil and gas, not just for guys. And it's that women empowerment is big time. Mm-hmm. And that's something that she brings as well. And that's something that yeah. she can speak to um, also. And that's what I love. I mean, you, she is it's almost like having another daughter because she is so, you know, she's my daughter's age. Yeah. You know, it's the coolest thing as well, even though she has experience and she I mean, knowledge when she was here it was pretty easy because she came into Jack's. There was someone in your class that was struggling a little bit. She took them under their wing, was there after hours with them wow. into Jack's lab. And that's really what made an impression on all of us. Just while you were a student in your class? Yep. While she was there for training. And, wow. and she drew a schematic from on the one of our trainers from her brain. On the whiteboard. Well, Jack <laughs> wow. has the same trainers that I had in college. and. I had took him in, taken them in there, and I had drawn this whole schematic on the whiteboard. And I remember Jack actually came in the room, and I was nervous because yeah. Ben had told me where it was, and Ben had said, "Well, if you get caught in there, I didn't show you where it is." <laughs> and, and Jack walks in and is just kind of watching. And yeah. He didn't say anything, so I didn't say anything. And eventually, he's looking at the whiteboard, and he goes, "Did you draw this?" I said, "Yeah." And he said, "For memory." I said, yeah. He's like, I'm Jack Day. He's like, can I give you a business card? <laughs> That's awesome. And, you know, lo and behold, a couple of months later, we had an opening. I'm glad that she saw that. Is right. The thing All the way too. in North Dakota. Yes. Were you yeah. following us on social media or how did you hear about it? I hadn't been. Um, of, I actually heard about before I left. Um, it, was it was just happened to be, I think you guys had filled two positions right before I came. And some people so, were like, well, dang, we just filled two positions. And I was like, well, shoot. And so I just kept watching after that. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. It was meant to be. Yep. Yeah. And acclimated to Woodward, Woodard, right? Yep. That way. <laughs> yeah. So you're liking it pretty well down here? Yeah, I like it. The weather, it's amazing. We were just in Nebraska <laughs> over the weekend. Um, highs in the 40s while we were there and then get to come back here. I think it's, what, in the 60s? Yeah, it's perfect it's weather here. Great right now. I love it. Well, <laughs> awesome. Um, So, Taylor, let's talk about our CDL class real quick. Yeah. Um, so we just opened it up November 1st. Yes. And that was, um, it was job, it was company specific. For um, eight spots? Yeah, we, did eight, we, we originally did eight spots, filled those within three hours. You know, the demand's there. It's not anything that we're teaching. We're bringing in Central Tech. They're mm-hmm. the experts in it, just like I feel like we're the experts in energy. Uh, filled it within three hours, opened two more spots, filled it on Monday. Uh, so we don't have any spots available. We'll do another one in the May that we'll actually do for our diesel students, but we'll probably encompass some uh people as well we'll see keep your ears open right ears to the ground but yeah it's something that's needed i mean when you talk about things that we can provide that are needed mm-hmm. wind energy technicians medical field cdl drivers you know it's just the opportunity is limitless so yeah awesome um, yeah and that so that totally shows that customized training that we're here to provide and fit the need whatever comes about holler at us let us know what it is and we'll see if we can find an instructor for it um tammy kiln has a whole bunch of classes we're we're posting online right now for her short-term classes starting mostly in january so everyone will want to follow social media right now or um visit our website that is has a new look um at hptc.edu um so anything either one of you would like to share before we wrap up i do want to say if there's any classes you think that will make that you could be a teacher and let us know yeah give us a call Give Tammy Kellen a call, and we'll see if it makes. We'll try it, and we'll see if it works. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And one instructor we are particularly looking for right now is an online QuickBooks online, instructor. Not, online. Yes. 
completely Andra, different. Andra is our desktop pro, but the online's a whole nother beast. So we're looking for an instructor for that. If you have an expertise, just holler at us or Tammy Kiln and it's T K E L L N yep. at HPTC.edu is her email. All right. Well, thank you guys for being my guest today. We will be back here next week on 100.1.